Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are continuing with organic chemistry, the second session. And as we mentioned the last time, organic chemistry deals with carbon chemistry, where we look at the carbon chains and their attachments and see how they react. We spoke about functional groups where that there's a particular part uh, attached to the carbon chain, these carbons in a line, that gives it its characteristic chemical properties. And we spoke about the homology series, that is the increasing of the same pattern of carbon change where the, the next, um, a, a, the next uh, member of the, of the homology series just increases by a CH2 group. Now, the main thing to remember here for your basics is that this table that we have, which you will find in many textbooks, is extremely important. It shows your basics very well. We spoke about the alkanes where we just get carbons but single bonds in our chain. Then we get alkenes where we get a double bond carbon somewhere in the chain. And we get alkynes where we get triple bond carbons in the chain. And we must remember that carbon can only have four lines attached to it. So if we have a carbon and um, around it we can only have four lines. A carbon can only have four lines around it. So if you look at this carbon, it's got one, two, three, four four bonds attached to it. Similarly, this carbon will have one, two, three, four. And all of them, you will notice, have only four attachments to it because carbon has four valence electrons. Now, just to deal more with this table that we have here, we see that there are other attachments. We have uh, carbon where we've got an X attachment, which is called the halogen attachment. And we've mentioned that the halogen attachment uh, on the carbon chain makes it an haloalkane or an alkyl halide. Then we, we look further again on this uh, table that we have. So the alkyl halide is the, the attached that we have here or the X. Then if you get an OH attachment to the carbon, then the OH makes it uh, an alcohol attachment. So the hydroxyl group is attached and that the, the OH will make the, the chain uh, and alcohol that is this one here so here's an example where we've got carbons attached and here you have a special OH attachment so this makes it an alcohol and this one is called ethanol and um, if you look at this attachment here we have got carbon with a double bond O and a single bond OH group and that group is called your carboxylic acid and in this case here, we've got an example where we've got carbon, double bond O, single bond OH. So there's two carbons, so it's eth, and becomes ethanoic acid because this is a carboxylic acid. And I've just mentioned uh, certain things here. If we get a carbon carbonyl group, where we've got a C double bond O group that's attached to your carbon chain. And that is different from your carboxylic acid that I mentioned just now. Where in the carboxylic acid, we see that at the end of the chain, we've got C, double bond O, but single bond OH. Now, just what we have to do here is we have to know the stable well and know how to identify an alkane from an alkene from an alkyne. We have to know when we have an haloalkane. We must know when we have an alcohol. We must know when we get a uh, carboxylic acid. And I've also mentioned we must know when we get aldehydes. And when we get ketones. So I just put up uh, a few examples here that we have. And just by looking at it, we should be able to identify whether they are uh, alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, or, or carboxylic acids or ketones, whatever the case may be. So if you look at this first one that we have here, we see that the only thing that we have here is our double bond. So this will make it make it have a functional group of an alkene. If you look at the second example that we have here, we see that we have your carbon chain with, with three carbons, and we see that we have something special where we've got this bromine and the chlorine attachment. So those are the halogen attachments, so this will make it a functional group of a halo alkane. If you look at the third one that we have here, we see that, again, we've got our carbon chain, but our attachment is your OH, your hydroxyl attachment, as we've mentioned earlier. 
the hydroxyl attachment is your alcohol group, your OH attachment. So that will make this uh, uh, carbon, um, organic compound and alcohol. And if you look at this one here, we see that we've got our carbon chain, but we've got a C double bond O and a single bond OH attachment, which will make this one a carboxylic acid. So here we see that just by looking at your car organic compound and looking at where we, whether we have single bonds, double bonds, triple bonds, seeing if there are other attachments, um, halogen attachments or hydroxyl attachments or carbonyl attachments, we can conclude whether our functional, we can identify basically, sorry, we can identify what type of functional group is involved in the organic compound we have in front of us. I've added one more example because I thought it was very important. If you look at this example, we see that um, we have again our chain and here in the center of the chain we've got a C double bond O and the C double bond O attachment as we uh, if we just look up we'll see that the C double bond O attachment is called our carbonyl attachment because of the C double bond O. So once we see the C double bond O, we know that that's our carbonyl attachment. And looking at this example, we've got it here in front of us. So we can see that this becomes, because it's in the center, it becomes an aldehyde. Sorry, not an aldehyde, a ketone. But if you've got a C double bond attachment at the end, then it becomes an aldehyde. So the, the carbonyl attachment, we can get a C double bond of attachment in the central, central uh, carbon in the chain, or it can be at the end. But if it is at the end, say we take this example here, where if we had this here and we had to strike out the O, where we only had C double bond O and C but an H, then this year now will be called an aldehyde and not, uh, uh, this will be called an aldehyde. An aldehyde because of the carbonyl attachment at the end of the compound. So here we've got a simple uh, examples of different homology series and how we can find them in the group. And I will stop there and in our next session I will look at naming of these uh, compounds and one or two others. Thank you very much.